Hey everyone, welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So this channel has turned into sort of a lifestyle type of channel now, but in the past I used to talk a lot about lupus and my illness. I'm still gonna talk about that, but in today's video, wedding planning, or wedding planning, wherever the title is, I think it's below me now. It's not 2008 anymore, okay. So let's get into it. Last year in December, my fiance, now obviously, proposed to me, very exciting time, and I have been really involved in the wedding planning and enjoying it a lot. One of the first things that we did when we started planning was the budget. Now, Dave is a financial advisor, so this was a huge portion of it, and I would recommend before you do any type of planning that you sit down and really think about your budget. All of your websites, Zola, The Knot, Wedding Wire, will have some type of budget thing you can implement your budget into. Uh, I did that along with my own spreadsheet. And yeah, I just found that useful. I've been using basically Google Drive to create all my wedding stuff in one folder. And that's a, I would definitely do that. For the budget, if any of you have planned a wedding or seen the stats on weddings, you know they're quite expensive. They're not cheap. Dave and I were blessed because this year we actually won the Wedding Wire Just Said Yes contest. I made my account with Wedding Wire when we got engaged and have been using that website ever since for a lot of my planning and finding vendors. And they had a contest, so I applied and we won, which is incredible. I have never won anything in my life, so this was very, just wow. Very, very, couldn't believe it. And Dave himself couldn't believe it when I called him. I called everyone when it happened. It was just a very exciting time. Winning that contest was a blessing because we are paying for the wedding ourselves, and weddings are a big thing that you can go into debt with. Uh, luckily, we are making a plan to make it happen and our budgets have overall been very tight uh, in the past year because we know that we're planning for a wedding. When you discuss the uh, budget, you're going to figure out how much everything costs between all of your different vendors uh, and it really depends to what is more important to you. For me, a photographer was very important, uh, just having great photos of the day. And then of course the food, I feel like is always another important thing and where you wanna put more of your money. And then it really depends on the person. Do you wanna spend a lot on florals and decor or do you wanna spend more on, uh, you know, I don't know, alcohol and dancing, who knows? Uh, but really determining those different budget factors. When you figure out your budget, you wanna make sure you know your guest list. You, of course, can make changes here and there, but you want a general idea of how many you want to invite because when you start contacting vendors, they're all gonna wanna know about how many you're gonna have at your wedding, and that's gonna work for certain vendors such as caterers, um, the bar, and the venue, obviously. The guest list. The guest list is not fun. I'll tell you that. It's fun until it's not fun. <laughs> so, it, of course, it's nice to think of all the family that you'll be inviting and the friends and everyone that's going to be there to share your day. Uh, to me, that is all very important. I moved from Michigan when I was very young and my favorite time of the year was always going back to Michigan and seeing all my family. Um, even though I was really shy and it probably didn't seem like that to them, but uh, to me, it holds a very special place in my heart, especially because that was the only trip we would take to. And um, a lot of holidays and such were spent with just my parents uh, and family friends. So it wasn't, I didn't, I didn't have that connection uh, unless we went there. So for, for me, it was important to have my family there and to be able to invite them. Um, and then of course, Dave's family, and Dave's got a lot of siblings. So our guest list is about looking at 75 to 80 people. You have to essentially decide who you've been talking to more lately, who do you think is gonna be in your life until you're 70, I don't know. Uh, just factors like that. So really takes some sitting down and thinking 
and hopefully people understand that weddings are expensive and you can't invite everyone or if I could, I would. Another hard decision that we decided, see I'm getting all like, Ooh, because this is stressful for me, uh, was not to have kids at our wedding. The only kids will be in our actual wedding party and that is because we literally see these two kids every other weekend and they're a big part in our life. Even though all of them probably won't come, you just have to put it into the perspective, what if? Is this something worth us going more in debt over? Which we are trying not to be in debt at all. The first thing that Dave and I looked at were venues and we actually started looking pretty early on. I was really excited and I'm happy that we did because now, you know, there's COVID. So I got to do this before COVID happened and we went and actually physically went into three different venues. I reached out to a few and we really liked the one. It felt perfect for what we wanted. We wanted to, well, I wanted to plan the wedding myself essentially and I didn't want to have where they already had the photographer, the DJ and all that assigned to that venue. So I'll be more of a DIY bride and just, yeah, I don't know, it should be fun. Wedding colors and themes. So the venue we picked is more of a, I guess, rustic vibe. And I just really like the colors in there. It, it's kind of similar to how our house is. Uh, and then you have the farm wood tables and the eucalyptus, just really my vibe for a wedding. The colors that I'm thinking, and who knows, they could change, but right now I'm thinking blush and burgundy, um, maybe like a champagne color, I'm not sure on that, and then obviously like that kind of sagey green, like the eucalyptus. It's kind of crazy because I would have never guessed that I'd be a pink blush type of bride, but here I am, I'm doing it. For food, we decided to go buffet style, which that was really the only choice that we had with our venue but we were able to find a caterer and got that already set, made sure that everything would be allergy friendly. My goal for the desserts is to have essentially all of them to be vegan because in my opinion, vegan desserts can be just as good as your regular desserts. That's my opinion. So we're gonna go that route. My dad might make some cookies which wouldn't be vegan, but we'll see. For bar, that's another decision. You gotta sit down and decide with your budget. We decided to go on open bar just because a lot of our family members and friends do drink and we think that it would be worth it to purchase. And I don't know, just want a little party. We want everyone to be out there and dancing and having fun. For the dress, I already got my dress and I actually did a video on that. I did not show the actual dress. That's gonna have to wait until after the wedding. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. It's another dress that I did not expect myself in, but here we are. For now, I think those are all my updates with the wedding. I am having so much fun with this and it just makes me excited. I hope everything goes smoothly. It is in the fall of 2021. <sighs> nerve-wracking but we shall see holding the date for now and hopefully things turn around by then but yeah in the comments below let me know if you have any advice or suggestions I would love to hear it love to hear your thoughts and any yeah advice would be great so let me know your experience and if you enjoyed this video and of course, to support my channel, like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and get notified if you'd like to see more videos like this and other lifestyle videos and videos will be about my updates with my health as well, don't worry. But I'll see you all soon, thanks for watching and I think I said that, I don't know, but let me just stop now, bye. <laughs>